Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's sunny. It's moderately warm. It's plus three degrees Celsius. There is a heckin' wind happening. We are protected from it right now. That's cute. But I'm sure once we get out of the neighborhood, the winds will pick up, so hopefully they're not too loud. Maybe we'll be protected the whole way, I don't know. This area is called Norwood Flats. A lot of people refer to it as like Lindale Drive area. It's got a lot of very cute older homes. Lots have been renoed. But lots are still original. Not sure what years they would be. I didn't check anything ahead of time. I think this one's had some work done. It's around 4.30 or so, 5. So I guess uh, there'll probably be quite a bit of traffic coming out of downtown. These little house condo apartment things used to fascinate me when I was younger. Looks like a little villa. service center right on the corner here has been here for a long time. You think we should try and like cut across? Oh, there's like no traffic coming. Do you wanna? Yep. That's rare. Ooh, there's a car coming this way. Straight ahead is downtown. That's the bridge we walked over to get, where were we going that day? Mm, I think we were just walking around downtown. It was one of the first videos we did. And if you keep going, there's a second bridge and it gets you to the forks. We 
We're gonna head up Marion. Around, there's sort of a bend. Back down, Goulet. Tashe, Eugenie, all that. All that good stuff. before, hopefully it's not that. Some street art. And if you can see those metal canoes. warmer than I thought it was going to feel out here. There's some big doggos. restaurant and I think the lounge too had a lovely reno upgrade done to it and the restaurant is now called Pauline Bistro absolutely adorable inside I think the lounge portion is called the wood yeah venture into the wood and it's really cool it's Kind of dark wood, rusticy leather. It's really nice looking. A lot of these businesses have been here a long time, like Pasquale's Italian restaurant. That's been there forever, hey? for Pauline. Very cute. It's closed. It's kind of, I think it's a lunch brunch type spot. And this is the wood. You can kind of see like the lanterns and the wood and the leather. It's sharp looking. this street on our little forks adventure in the winter. This is the Blackbird. It is also not open currently. There's a ladder in there so maybe they're doing renos maybe they'll open up again. Another dog spot. local legion.
there's more coffee shops and ice cream shops and stuff opening up along here. So I imagine in the summer, well, even before, this stretch was a lot more bustling than this. Things are slowly opening up. It's part of the French neighborhood of St. Boniface. I believe. Look at all this lovely sand on the sidewalk. Ugh. I mean, yes, it gets slippery. Yes, it's icy. Yes, it's snowy, but this is the worst part of spring. So those weeks or months where everything's melted, but it's like a dust bowl when somebody drives over. I feel bad for cyclists because the cars drive over the leftover sand and it just creates this dust. Lots of murals in the area. Buildings painted. Ooh. Chop, chop. Ooh, this looks like a slick spot. Why is this all wet here, I wonder, hey? neighborhood lots of little locally owned shops that have been here for a long time it's becoming more of a buzz place for new shops to open oh, there's Dean's I thought they ah that's the little spot beside I remember they've got a huge patio now. Mm, you smell good. That's a huge patio space. Wow. VNT. And restaurant came highly recommended by our cousin a lot of their dishes are just naturally gluten-free everything smells very good around here there are lots of restaurants cooking building is quite new. There's a brand new cafe that opened, coffee shop, called Diaspora. Judging by their posts, they sell some pretty awesome looking baked goods, ready to eat stuff.
tattoo shop. Chicken chairs. Everybody loves their chicken. This is one of the few safe ways I've seen hang on. Why they're all become Sobeys or Freshco. Lots of homes get zoning for commercial and become businesses, however that works. stretch here is pretty much all apartments. The next block. Sun is given some serious warmth. You think it's warmer than plus three now? You think it got warmer? No. Uh, feels warm. Thank you. holding the gimbal without gloves on. Sign of things to come. Noisy tree in the mornings. Ooh. They like their birds. There's this weird uphill right here. And you notice when we drove through the neighborhood, like down this way, a bunch of the houses are like up on these little hills literally the only hilly area in town or in the whole of the city it's strange so we're going to go left but beyond here there's about another block of retail and restaurants, Johnny's on Marion, which has been here forever. The Marion Hotel, which has a new-ish restaurant called the Marion Street Eatery. Fantastic menu there. But beyond that, it's all pretty much industrial. So we're gonna turn. Inferno's, the brown building. Also a fantastic menu. They've stood the test of time. They've been there for quite a while. This little spot is called Doug and Betty's. It is a little locally owned ice cream shop. 
and the Doug and Betty in question are the owner's dogs. Which is cool. So we have a coffee shop in the city named after the owner's dog. And an ice cream shop named after the owner's dogs. We took Onyu there once and he absolutely loved it because he got a free ice cream with a dog treat in it. But then he proceeded to bark at every other dog that came because I guess he thought that was all his. Like the actual restaurant. If you keep going straight down to Zmirons, you end up on Provence, which we did our walk down there midwinter. But we're gonna head back down Goulet. This is one of the quickest ways from the south end to get downtown to the forks to work from the southeast end anyway. This is the other end of that apartment block of blocks. And if you turn in here, you end up in the neighborhood of the University of St. Boniface and the ice climbing tower, which we showed across the river when we were over in the exchange. Windier than the other side. Boy, some of this nice. Those apartments would be awesome on the balcony for sunsets. Hey, the balconies for sunsets? Cut a big tree down. That'd have been an old one, hey? Yeah. block had a pretty solid facelift in the last few years and the matching one there. There's the sun. This stretch of road would be jammed if there was like a Jets game or like Canada Day at the Forks in the before times. Also the quickest route from the south end, southeast end, to like St. Boniface Hospital.
traverse this way is a street that would take you all the way to Provence. there that were torn down. These new ones are not. There sure are a lot of housing options in the area. neighborhood it's mostly like single family homes the odd block to the left here it's all blocks on blocks condos apartments it's a cute neighborhood like everything you need is here and you're so close to downtown and the forks like if you work downtown this would be a great place to live hey eh? bridge or walk across the river in the winter. major grocery stores in the area. start to see the buildings of the hospital behind this little strip wall. carried on this street it would take you to the two main bridges into downtown where we kind of came from on the other side and if you went straight down here you'd be at the top of the Esplanade Real which is the walking bridge across 
to the forks. Also a driving bridge beside it, but there's a dedicated walking bridge. Something smells good. Like barbecue. It smells like barbecue. Mm. This is the direction of the wind. That's unfortunate. Pretty decent lineup at Mrs. Mike's. When we walked along here, it was like midwinter. I don't even think they were open. dinner. Some of the best hamburgers in town. Norwood Grove Post Office. I wonder if that's what this always was. Oh, must be because now it's insurance. Nineteen thirty five. Pair. Ooh, this looks like it's been here for a long time. Doesn't have a year.
This is where McKinley took some art lessons. <laughs> I wonder when that was built, hey? That's cute. That green one has like a yeah, a turret on the side. Hmm. What are those called? Turrets. And that one looks like it's been like renoed sort of, but it's been there a while and then those ones are all new. Do you want to cut through the park or go down the street? This is Coronation Park. The one thing I remember seeing here each year is like a medieval festival. Very sort of Vikings and such swinging swords around. And they left their shed open. There's plenty of history here. Just not sure what it is. I know I've said this before, but the one thing I've realized walking around the city is how many murals and sculptures and just free art there is to appreciate. I'm sure every city's like that if people walked around and looked. to 1918 is that like world war one 1914 to 18 not up on my dates i know <laughs> i got a couple words here we go I think we walked past that legion. Not sure these benches would pass the bench test. From the urbanist, Ariel Vieira. They look a little square. This is the stage. There's quite a few performances here. Having little bits of nature in the middle of the city. Just random.
building's pretty new. I'm not sure how many houses came down for this. Ooh, look at that front porch. They have a little garden growing on the top of their little playhouse. That's insane. Oh, and their firewood. It's very cute. I to tell some of them which have been like just renoed and which have been built from scratch. Like this little one looks like renos, but the foundation looks like brand new. Hard to tell. Oh, that yellow one's cute. Ooh, three full stories, all new windows. The other thing I noticed with a lot of these older homes that still have like radiator heat and stuff is they don't have central air. Which with three stories, like look at this one, that's massive. You'd want some central air because I mean Winnipeg summers are as ridiculous as Winnipeg winters. Only the freezing cold is replaced by the ridiculous humidity and heat. That is so pretty. These trees are massive. I think that white one is my favorite so far. I think also with the really big trees, it's hard for grass to grow. So a lot of people do like Lots of rock and shrubbery type stuff and English gardens where it's like wildflowers and stuff. This one looks like it could use a little work. That was just a little Friday night walk through Norwood Flats and some of St. Boniface. Have a great weekend, everyone.